And today I want to tell you why I am so passionate about life coaching. Life hasn't always been easy and when I was young I had no self-esteem, no confidence and I ended up in relationships which really weren't going to do me any good. I got warned by my parents but of course I took no notice of my parents. I did have good parents, I was really lucky about that because I know some people don't. But I was blessed with good parents but I wasn't blessed with a lot of common sense. I wasn't blessed with very much confidence and I had very low self-esteem. And I ended up getting involved with guys who weren't really any good for me. I was quite young when I got into my first relationship, which lasted eight years, purely out of stubbornness. I knew it wasn't right, but I stuck in it. I stuck in there because my self-esteem was so low and I didn't realize that I deserved anything better. I thought this was the best I was ever going to get. I didn't have children then and I did get qualified as a teacher and my next relationship with my future husband was very very good at the beginning um, it can happen like this with people who are slightly narcissistic he was very narcissistic he was very controlling he started out great he was lovely but he became more and more abusive certainly after I'd had my first child, he changed. And when he found out I was pregnant with my second one, he told me I had to get rid of that child or go from the marital home. And I didn't really want to fight him. In those days, I didn't realize I could fight him. So I put up with his abuse and his violence until I'd had my second baby and then I left, I left the home because it was too awful to be there. And I never really realized that I could have done anything about it. I just put up with it. And this was all to do with low self-esteem, feeling that this is all life could offer me. And it took me a long time to learn, to study eventually, I became qualified as a counsellor and I learnt all sorts of things about codependency. I realised I'd been in a codependent relationship. I realised all that was partly my fault because I'd put up with it as well. This took a, a lot of learning. There was a huge learning curve, but eventually I began, I began to help other people and help myself. I pulled myself out of that trough of depression and looked outwards where I could help other people. And I realized all this knowledge that I had found, all this incredible gold dust about learning to save myself was something I could give other people. And because I empathized and understood how other people feel so low and they have no way of knowing how to get out, how they feel so much despair and loneliness and thinking that that's all they can ever achieve in life. I understand that because I've been there and I really, really want to help other people. If there's anyone who would like to contact me, uh, my email address is at the bottom of my video and we have a website as well. And please, please contact me. I would love to help you. I'm absolutely passionate about helping other people to become their best selves, to find happiness and love and light and to escape the trap of darkness. It's been great talking to you. Talk to you soon, bye.